Right, I've come up to the Chamberis Pass. Uh, I was hoping it would be a lot more quieter, but there's people everywhere. I've just managed to get a space in here uh, where I wanted to park down there. It was just too full. Uh, I did try going to the side of Dalbach. There's too many people there. So I thought I'd come here. And I'm looking around now and I'm not like... I don't feel very enthusiastic. Uh, so at the moment I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah, like I said, too many holiday meetings about. Um, we're going to head down this river today. Kind of try and find different compositions. I am thinking of crossing over to the other side, I think, to get a better shot. I kind of like the green sort of little leaves on this tree here. Uh, it does look quite unusual. Um, I'm going to try and look for a composition from this end where we can do a long exposure of the river flowing down. So I'll set up and see how that looks. Done a portrait. Uh, you can see the river going down. Uh, I've done a long exposure, so it's going to look milky. I've used a ten stop. I didn't use a six stop, but of course I've broken my six stop. Um, and you can see the mountain range at the top there. Uh, my exposure was 25 seconds. Uh, I'm going to take that to 30 seconds. Boggy shit. I'm just uh, making my way round to the river this way. See what we can find. Looking at this image now, uh, I like the straw here sticking up. And you've got these pillars of rocks that are unusual. And right behind that is the mountain. And I'm just thinking if I can get away with a long exposure on the cloud, there's enough cloud there to streak. Uh, that might be an interesting shot. Okay, so what I've done with that now is I've bracketed the shot because I wasn't getting too much luck with the uh, long exposure. Um, so I've done a bracket there about uh, three underexposed and one overexposed and your normal shot. So there's uh, five exposures there. And that should do the trick. Right, we'll head down to the uh, river and look for 
the last shop of today. really like is a nice tree sticking out of the side of the river. A nice wide shot would be lovely. Oh. Yeah. Boggy. Uh not really seeing much going on down here now. Uh... Okay, we've got some sort of little fall here. Don't know if I'll be in the right position to do this. Right. Right, I think this could be a little uh, composition wide one. Uh, I'll go down to the bottom here and try and get a nice wide shot of the rocks. I'm not too sure if I've done this before. I don't think so. It looks familiar. With this shot I've got an ISO 100 F11 and a 20 second exposure. Uh, I've used the 10 stop and a 0.9 soft grad just to darken the top edge of the sky over there. Right, this, this one I started with a 20 second, I've taken it up to 30. Uh, that should do the job for me. Just do another one for look. I think this will be the last one for today. Um, the midges are starting to come out now. Pain in the ass. Right then, that's it. So that's it for today. Anyway, so that's it for today, uh, along the Chamberis Pass, um, hopefully we've got three good shots. So until next week, thanks for watching and bye!